Pope. In order to get that, it's got to be really cold, right? It does, absolutely. And as you mentioned, you've got to have fog. Freezing fog is also what it is called. And we do occasionally get that in our mountain communities this time of year. We're actually anticipating some plain old fog across the triad tomorrow morning. Out there today, we still have a little snow on the ground in our mountain towns. Uh, take a look out there. You're going to see Phelps Park. And yes, there is still a little bit of snow there in Galax. And we're going to actually bring back the sunshine. How about that? That's coming back into the picture as we move forward this week. Now, our temperatures are cold, so we are looking at freezing temperatures in a few spots by early tomorrow morning. So 32 right now in Galax, 30 in Sparta, and 31 in Hillsville. Stewart is at 30, and temperature right now is already 32 in North Wilkesboro. Our temperatures across the triad are also quite chilly. They're on their way down, too. We've got 38 in Greensboro, 39 in High Point. I will look for numbers that are in the low to mid-30s across the triad, and some light rain along with the fog tomorrow morning. The snow that we've seen in the mountains will be coming to an end and we're drying out and clearing out by tomorrow morning. But with those temperatures dropping down close to freezing, if not below, we're talking about some spotty ice concerns across the areas. So travel could be a little bit hazardous and it's the kind where it won't be widespread. So it may sneak up on you. We just want you to be aware if you do have to travel tomorrow morning. Our temperatures, again, are going to be just above freezing, at least while the rain is around in the Piedmont Triad. But you can see that light rain across the the area and even some pockets of more moderate rain down toward Ashboro right now and all of that will be pushing off to the east. We may have a lingering light rain shower in the area in the morning but remember the snow this time last night over yeah parts of Mississippi and Alabama areas that don't often see snow. I call it a cookie sheet sledding weather. Yeah in the deep south when you don't have the sled get whatever you can so you can slide down that hill. Well we just had rain for the most part across our area. We did have a few snowflakes mixed in over our foothill communities and into the mountains, but nothing on the ground. Our air column a little too warm to support snow with this one. Now tomorrow afternoon, we're going to clear off the clouds and we've got sunshine in the forecast, so that'll be nice. Again, there will be a little bit of light rain, I think, when you wake up in a few of our triad communities tomorrow morning. But by about 9, 10 a.m., that should all have shifted off to the east, and we do have sunshine, and we've got temperatures that are warming up nicely. Should be close to 50 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. As for measurable rain, we're looking for about a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch early on. We'll see some sun tomorrow afternoon. Northwest wind at about 5 miles an hour. It's not terribly windy, so it's comfortable, right? We're going to see temperatures close to 50 degrees, not only in the triad, but also in the foothills and our mountain towns. So we'll take you up to about 40 by late tomorrow afternoon. It is pretty dry across the eastern half of the nation and really no major weather systems until Friday when we get another reinforcement of cold Canadian air kind of pushing into the deep south. This one looks to be kind of moisture starved so I don't have high rain chances but I do have a chance for rain in the forecast and mountain snow Friday night into early Saturday and definitely a cool down that is on the way as we head into the week. Weekend. So let's take a look at our seven day forecast. You're going to see the temperatures nice, if not maybe almost 10 degrees above normal on Thursday. And then we bring that rain chance in Friday into early Saturday and we cool back down over the weekend. But we do have sunshine for Saturday and Sunday.